guys I finally cracked the code damn this fucking kicked my ass and you think you see this is um see all, all the stuff I have here right oscilloscope soldering iron and it still fucking kicked my ass because I'm not familiar with this radio system so don't get discouraged you can also do it uh, you just have to be persistent okay so now that we uh, now that the rant is over let's um, let's see what needs to be done for this um, iNavi piece of shit so you see over there that I have kind of these uh, wires uh, you know I was testing in my car and this is this is the state that I got it where I figured it out so you can see here let's hope that everything shows in the camera okay so this connector here so there's two connectors um, well there's actually three connectors but uh, this connector here is the connector that has the steering wheel uh, button control and in my car it wasn't working so in order to uh, that's because they messed up the wiring basically not only it wasn't working but it was also um, uh, making the steering wheel controls of the um, the speedometer part of the panel also not work which was really a problem because uh, those have other functionalities that we also care about so well that was uh, kind of easy to solve but uh, also painfully hard to solve because you don't know what's the problem so here's the solution there are two wires so these two wires come with the factory and when when I bought this box these wires you see here they have a continuation here so it's actually uh, and I'm gonna provide a more zoomed in view of this so these these wires uh, so it's um, and I'm sorry I'm daltonic but I think it's blue and green they were connecting to the can box over here so this goes to the can box and that was just not right so I, I clipped them and also this other wire here this was not even there so that pin connector was empty so then I just uh, I grabbed uh, a wire from another connector and I stuck it in there um, and this wire needs to go to the ground if it goes to the ground then it closes the circuit on the steering wheel button control on the other side so that's also important in this case uh, okay, so now let's let's uh, now that we're soldering here, let's make this nice. Okay, so I decided to make this uh, screen recording here out of a drawing that I made on my uh, board. It takes a lot of time to make a proper drawing and I think this is kind of a middle ground and I'm tired. It took me so long. So, okay, so uh, perhaps uh, you, you don't know, as I didn't, that um, the steering wheel control, uh, in, the, in this case it would be for my Toyota Corolla, right? It is... Um, uh, it's just a dumb uh, array of, of uh, resistors, right? So each one of the switches, uh, drawn here is a little switch, uh, is uh, when you depress it, it uh, shorts uh, short circuits, and then you have like some resistance, and then if you short circuit here, then you get this, this value of the resistance. If you press this one, then I get these two resistors in series between SW1 and SWG. So SW1 is our key one and SW2 is our key two. So, so that would, should eventually connect to your radio into key one and key two. So that would be the top and the bottom wire. Yeah. So the problem is that uh, the radio connector that they provided me, and this may be the case for you. Um, you see here, I-55 is the name, the number of that connector uh, is is a has a bunch of pins and the pin number is 20 21 22 they come from the diagram uh, the numbers don't matter for your car you have to look at the, at the diagram and i'm going to go through that so uh, but the fundamental issue is uh, and this again this inside here i haven't really measured this is what i learned looking online 
and I believe this is probably accurate for the Corolla. Um, but uh, there's two sets of buttons. So there's the buttons for the radio control. So like, uh, let's say volume up, volume down, take the call, uh, pass the song forwards or backwards. But then there's also a bunch of other buttons that are used for the, for the, comp the onboard computer. So let's say enable uh, uh, lane assist, enable um, uh, cruise control, and increase cruise control speed, all of, all of that. And for these buttons, there's two extra wires that are not in this harness. So then these, this, uh, what I believe happens is uh, once I unplug the radio and I leave this connector unplugged, then the buttons for the, for the cruise control, they stop working. And the reason for that, I believe, is because all of these switches, they're still referencing towards this ground. And if there is no actual uh, loop back circuit into the speedometer computer, then it will not be able to measure the, the resistance. So in order to actually have that, you have to connect uh, this SW ground to actually the chassis. Uh, and this was not done in, in, um, in my radio, uh, even though they supposedly co provided a complete harness, so I had to do it. So that's what I'm doing in the next part of this video. Um, okay. So hopefully this is clear, but now the question is, this took me a while to figure out because these connectors, they are different for each car and it's really annoying. So let me show you what I figured out. Okay, so you can see here that uh, there's this uh, potentially not ideal website uh, that uh, provides the manuals for uh, the cars uh, and um, so it's a car and then uh, if you go to the original site they'll probably have uh, yeah they'll have the list of brands and you can navigate to your car and then in my case i have a corolla so corolla 2024 so it's this one so there's a um, electrical wiring diagrams for the corolla so we go here and then we get um, um, a bunch of uh, uh, stuff here so I think that I went to the, oh yeah, so the electric wiring diagram, uh, and this takes a real long time to, to load up, so I'm just gonna, where was it, yeah, there we go, so you see here, so it's uh, 1,425 pages, um, and yeah, the ads and stuff, but um, uh, you can see that there's all sorts of, um, um, even combinations depending on the model of your car and for your car it's going to be different this is you know each car is going to be different so if you have the Toyota Corolla 2024 I can guarantee you because I've done it uh, that this is the steering wheel switch and you see here that the, in the diagram so steering wheel uh, right hand side left hand side and then there's a uh, this this these diagrams are really hard to read, so let me actually address this. So, you see here that there is this box, and then it says here, Sparrow Cable Assembly, and there's two numbers here. There's I82C and then Z3H. So, I82 is the number of the connector. We're going to go and see that. And the same for Z3. So, this is like a, a representing a piece of cable where connector C, which is this connector C here, has the connector I82, and the C letter represents the pins 4, 5, and 12 in the connector I82. So if we go to the connector list, oh, this is very close, that's nice. So if we go to I82, this is I82, and then it was 4, 5, and 12 or something. Let me see, 4, yeah, 4, 5, and 12. So that means that in order to locate that connector, uh, that would be four, five, and 12 would be the pins that this should be connected to uh, in that end of the connector. Uh, we can see on the other side, on the other side we have a Z3, uh, uh, so H, the connector that connects to the steering wheel, is a Z3 connector. So, and the pins are three, nine, and 10. So then Z3, we can find where Z3 is. There we go. 
and then the appropriate numbers would be connected there so it kind of is simple when you think about it but it took me a while to figure it out and i'm sure that uh it's a it's a skill in a sense but um anyway so then of course these wires here they have the color of the wire i am colorblind so i can't really tell the difference but you can see here that we have uh, now for the radio we have um, a bunch of connectors so i55 i71 i187 all sorts of connectors but the connector through which this spiral cable is connected to is connector c you see here the letter c so then that means that uh, we're looking at c which is connector i55 and the pins we're looking for is 20 21 22 so then i55 where is i55 i55 and then 20 21 22 uh, this is the connector you're looking for and these are exactly the pins lo pin locations and i'm sure that they change this every single time and it's uh, probably not on purpose it's just the way that their teams work um, but there doesn't seem to be an incentive to have exactly the same connectors over uh, the different brands uh, sorry different models even within the same brand uh, which means that uh, you have to really consult this uh, type of manual so without this information you'll be dead in dead in the water and i didn't know this resource existed until um, well very recently and then uh, I was spending six hours doing reverse engineering on that goddamn connector uh, where I could just uh, have um, looked that up and I I mean this was not really easy to find this website which is why I'm, I'm discussing it here but um, yeah make sure you have it for your car it, these numbers they change slightly I found another manual online let me see if I can find it yeah here so I found another manual online and you see this one is slightly different. It's, a, it's an older model and you can see the same idea, steering pad and then it goes to the radio. The connector is I-55, it's the same connector, but now the actual value, the actual numbers are 21, 22, 24. So those motherfuckers, they just switch 24 to 20. It's, it's just a, a, a very annoying, but a, um, that's the kind of stuff that really took me a while figuring out because I was like, okay, I guess I found this manual, but it's the wrong one. And it's wrong by a little bit. So I kind of felt like I was making progress. So anyways, so this is like the, the food of nightmares. Um, okay, so now that we understand this, let's go back to the installation part. Okay, so I'm doing this uh, in the night, so I'm sorry that the illumination is not great. But uh, yeah, so one thing that uh, was really a problem before was the fact that the steering wheel controls, they wouldn't actually change the, the um, you know, the stuff there. But now you can see that this is no longer the case. I can easily navigate, uh, which is really great. So the, the reason now it's possible, uh, let me see if I can get some more light here from the dash. Maybe more light. There we go. So... Yeah, the reason now this is possible is because I fixed that ground cable there. So I remember there was a ground cable uh, here that I explained before. Um, but yeah, so now let's see. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing. Let's see if the steering wheel uh, button is now going to work. So, okay, so we're going to clear here. Um, good, there seems to be a voltage there, which is nice. So now if I press the button here and then I go here I'm gonna press this one and key learning success okay so let's see now down and key learning success okay and then the other one that I want to do is the left and right so left and then key learning success and then right and key learning success and I'm gonna save okay does it work so now i'm gonna press volume up okay volume up volume down okay and then i think the music change requires me to actually have some music so not gonna work right now but uh this is encouraging um yeah so let's put the radio back in and see if that um 
um, fixes it. Okay, so looks like we have uh, music. And you see here that uh, I'm controlling this through the steering wheel and you can see that it works. And I'm gonna pass the song. So I'm gonna pass the song. There you go. There you go. And then backwards. There you go. And yeah. It's working. It's alive. Great. Man, this took like six or seven hours to do. So I'm just glad it's over. Oh, and another thing that I kind of uh, forgot here uh, when I put the car in reverse, uh, you can see that. You know it's doing the thing and now i'm turning the wheel and you can see that the lines are moving right and if i turn the wheel to the other side so there is the sensor that defines the wheel position is also working oh yeah there was one last thing i wanted to talk about uh, so i was facing this issue here uh with um with the uh, like when i first connected the radio there was a four pin connector that uh, I didn't take a picture of, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but that connector really matched the connector, the four pin connector in the car. And I thought, you know, that that must be what it's supposed to be. Uh, but it turns out that the four pin connector in the radio side, in the iNavi radio, is the USB connector. But the four pin connector in the car side is a TPMS connector. So then what happens is that one is connected directly to the ECU and then because it's connected to something that is like probably short circuit something or something like that, then it throws like a bunch of scary errors. So this is one of them, but like there was a series of maybe like seven or eight errors that it threw and a big check engine light. And I was like, oh man, this is bad. Uh, but it turns out that that was just that connector and I just wanted to share that information as well. Don't plug that connector. Uh, yeah, you're gonna miss on the type on the TPMS information, but uh, uh, I couldn't figure out a way of uh, embedding that and to be honest, I just don't care. <laughs>